that. Ah, shit. Wrong button. God damn it. I'll fuck that up from the start. Welcome back, everybody. Um, in the previous video, which I believe was uh, Werewolf? The Last Warrior? Pretty good game, all things considered. A lot of comments on that one. Oh, no, sorry, no, it wasn't. It was Zombie Nation. Um, anyway, in that video, I said that I was finished with the Famicom. Well, I lied, basically. Um, long story short, I'm not quite ready to play Master System and Game Gear games yet, so I'm going to stick with some more Famicom games. I went through all of the box arts, um, chose some of the ones with the most interesting box art that I haven't played, and they're the ones I'm going to be playing in this next set of videos. If you're watching them out of order on YouTube, I don't know what to tell you. Like, oh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Watch the playlist. Anyway, enough of that. Our first game this evening um, was recommended by a, uh, a YouTube commenter um, by the name of, sorry, by the lame, <laughs> by the name of um, Larry Bundy Jr. Never heard of him. But he said that um, Wayne's World, commenting on the Wayne's World video in 2024, what are you doing, Larry? Come on. Uh, <laughs> haven't you got better things to do with your time? <laughs> it was really a terrible game. But he said that the Rocky and Bullwinkle game uh, runs on the same engine. And I'm taking that as a recommendation to play Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now, I absolutely detested Wayne's World, um, the game, that is, the film. I don't know whether it still holds up, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I still like the film. So I'm not holding out for this to be particularly good. Um, kind of a strange couple of games there though, like Rocky and Bullwinkle and Wayne's World. I think they're both made by different people. I'm not sure. This is by THQ apparently. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, it's got to suck, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Let's, let, let's just get on with it, okay? So let us go to the manual. There we are. Oh, no, 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 shit, no, no, it's the box arts first. Wait. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit rusty. There we go. Look at this. I could draw this. I, I could have drawn this in like 10 to 15 minutes, but whatever. Um, the game is very upfront um, in that it says it is pretty much for four to 10 year olds, so being a 44 year old father of two <laughs> i'm probably not the target audience for this one what do you think um so i'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be i'm gonna go gentle with it okay i'm gonna ease it in slowly just the tip sorry hmm. oh there um i hope everyone's staying hydrated during this heat wave that we're having in that old blighty and throughout the world perhaps who knows and that's my third one of those today so i never really watched the rocky and bullwinkle cartoons on tv I, I caught some of them um so i couldn't tell you who any of these characters are i think this one up here is um al pa no not al pacino robert de niro uh i don't know who that one is supposed to be some kind of fairy wearing a onesie i don't fucking know this this is probably the titular uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle here. I couldn't tell you which one is which though. Imagine, because he's got W on his like t-shirt, right? So how does that even kind of work? I don't know. We have a Mountie. Uh, I don't know. Kind of like a, a supposedly hot redhead. I don't know what they're trying to go for here. This is this is marketed for four to ten year olds, so who knows? But hey, look, we've got some titties there. Always good to see. You don't really see those in modern cartoons, but back in the day, I guess they were just like you know, handing out titties like candy when it came to cartoon characters and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I don't know. The characters are on the box. If you like those characters, buy the game, I guess, is what they're going for. I don't know. It's not a particularly great box art, but it does the job. And there is the Nintendo seal of quality. So I'm expecting good things from this one. What do you think, guys? Manual time. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, should we have some flavor text? See, this is it. They thank you in each manual for purchasing the game. You don't get that from from uh, publishers nowadays. It's like we're the ones that should feel grateful to them for, for giving us content, right? Like, pay up, suckers. Uh, our story begins. Should we, should we read the story? That's a lot of story. Do I really want to read all that? Mm. Uh, I'll read a bit of it. It's a lovely day in Frostburg. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll try and do it in 50s announcer. 
It's a lovely day in Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, as our two heroes, Ro Rocket J. Squiddle and Bullwinkle J. Moose, receive an important telegram. This is uh, in British, I should do an American voice, but never mind. Um, it seems the Bullwinkle's late great grandfather was m father was moose napped many years ago and taken to an English estate as quarry for a big game hunter. It turned out that the old moose made such a good game for the sportsman that he willed his entire estate to him. Through diligent tracking and pure dumb luck, this makes Bullwinkle the Earl of Moosechester. It is now up to our intrepid heroes to. I'm going back to English again to make their way to jolly old England. Okay, we're going to England, everybody. So. It's gonna suck. Oh no, England's not such a bad place to live. There are worse places. I can think of at least three. You yeah, know. Gameplay your mission is to get from Frostbite Falls to Abominable Mansion, England. Okay. We're not going to get that far this evening, I can tell you that now. Uh, eh. You can switch between playing Rocky or Bullwinkle at any time during the game. This allows you to use the best hero for any situation. Okay, interesting. So already it's got one up over Wayne's World. Um, a button jumps, B button tosses a bomb, blah de blah de blah. Both charging and flying burn energy. Okay. Drink moose juice. Um, to restore lost energy, collect hearts, <clears throat> pump it. Ah, whatever. The good guys, Bullwinkle and Rocky, the no good nicks. Well, that's a very, um, very 30s term. Boris Badenoff, Natasha Fatal. Oh, no. you've lost me. Ah, whatever, let's just get on with it. I've wasted enough time. A waste uh, your time and mine. I I, I do apologise. Let's just get in, get into the game, everybody. Okay, here we go. Playing on the Mister, since the Famicom is packed away, um, in anticipation of uh, the Master System, which is sit which is sitting just down there, out of view. Just get on with this. Ah! That music. <laughs> wow, Go, give me a chance, will ya? <sighs> okay, let's just, um, let's just do this, shall we? Ugh. Oh shit, we, okay, we just, we just dumped out in the game, apparently. Oh boy. Well, that's some jumping, alright. We have ice physics, that's nice. Oh shit. Shit! Oh! Okay. Eat shit. I think we straight up killed that guy. Ah. What? I'm sorry, what was that? Did the music just run out of steam? I can see this, uh, I can see the music becoming, um, oh god. What? I'm sorry? Okay, Let, let's unpack a couple of things. Um, um, so we have one hit deaths, ice physics, um, somewhat floaty and unresponsive jump in, uh, and a, a, a veritable war crime of chip tune music. Alright, eat shit. I, I will say that so far... Oh no, this, this jumping is really, really bad. Um, I was about to say that so far it's actually better than Wayne's World. However, the, the jumping is... Sorry, the platforming. Be professional. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, abysmal. Am I collecting it? So this must be the, the moose juice that I've heard so much about. Oh, God. Oh, come on. How's I supposed to react to that? Oh, my. 
Get fucked. Oh my, get... What are these supposed to even be? It's like fucking COVID. Did this game predict the COVID outbreak of 2020? Oh, you know what, I'm just gonna run past all this shit. Um, so there's a waterfall in the... The waterfall in the building now? Okay, we have enemies that... Um, careen onto the screen. With nary a thought for given the time uh, that is required for the player to react. But hey. Oh god. So, speaking of dumb luck, we I think we just found the exit to. Sorry, the key. Oh, piss off. Ugh. What? So we can just get multiple keys, can we? By just going off screen. Oh boy. Hang on, can I, can I, hang on, let me, let me turn this shit down. God damn it. Okay. No, I don't want to mute it. That's too low. Oh, but bollocks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is, this is pretty bad. So I guess I'm invincible while I'm charging. Oh, good grief. Okay, we got different music, that's nice. What? I'm not even sure what is going on. Oh, okay, oh, okay so whatever is in those... Um, re reverses the controls, that's nice. In a, in a, in a game with already terrible controls! This is in incredibly frustrating, can I just say. What? Where am I now? Can I walk on that? No, I guess not. Oh boy. Oh, I ju I, I so fucking jumped there. That, you telling me that was not a platform? Are you shitting me? Fuck. And no continues. The the final the final after the kick in the balls. That's like plucking out the pubes just there. Fuck damn it. God. And here we are back to the beginning. Okay, right. Okay, Mister. Uh, infinite, infinite lives. Um, blah, 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 blah. Start with two line, da, 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 da. infinite hearts, which I guess is the same thing. Yep, that'll do. Cheats on. Okay, let's try this. Well, I've got like three minutes to make it back where I did. I'll just go past this guy, right? Fuck it, just run past everything. Why why even stop? I guess I need Okay. Well we have infinite lives at least, but I can't see myself getting back where I was in the next three minutes, so I don't know. maybe Maybe I'll change my mind in the next three minutes. And I'll come to some kind of, I don't know, dramatic realisation that the game is actually good and not really fucking annoying. Look at this shit! But I, I do not have the tools required. Oh, okay, the music stopped. I do not have the tools required to perform these platforming tasks. Look at this shit! I, I kind of get what it's going for now in terms of the platforming, but it doesn't make it good. Look, look, look at this shit. Oh my god. Piss off. Without the bombs, it would be hard enough. Fuck. 
Pick it up. God damn it. Pick it up, asshole. You knob. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, okay. I forgot that you could actually change characters there for a second, but I. I the jumping feels very much the same. Uh, confirmed. The platforming still sucks. Can I just say? What the f- Oh, okay. Oh, good grief. I can fly. This is a bad idea! I should have gone upstairs. Why did I go upstairs? Okay. So, I guess this is the character B, because- Sorry, to B, because it allows you to piss off. To skip most of the level, hopefully. Can, can we please go upstairs? Oh my- Oh, look! I- uh, Oh my goodness. The, 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 the top step does not exist. How did I go up the stairs before then? What? I did not understand. I did not, I did not understand. Fuck. Get up the goddamn stairs. I'm sorry, but with these games that I... Oh, okay, there we go. That worked. It worked It worked that time. Eighth time the charm, I guess. So if I get comments down in the... Uh, comments. <laughs> if I get comments down in the comments saying that this was your favourite game as a child, it's good, I'm not giving it a fair shot. I'm sorry, but... I disagree. I, di I disagree wholeheartedly. This this game is broken. Do I have to be Bullwinkle to go upstairs? Is that it? Oh my god, it worked before. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. <sighs> I, I'm out. I hate it. Um, anyway. Now on to the uh, somewhat predictable conclusions, I think. <sighs> I, I didn't like Wayne's World, but I hated, hated Rocky and Bullwinkle. Thank you, by the way, uh, Mr. Mr. Bundy Jr., if that is indeed your real name. Um, oh my god. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if there are really any, any redeeming qualities about it. I'm, I'm trying to be easy on it, but here's the thing. I'm, I'm a 40-year-old-ish man, right, with many, many years of experience of gaming. I'm not sounding like I'm an amazing gamer or anything, but I've played some video games in my time. I kind of, you know, I, c I can wrap myself around a video game and do okay, like, you know, in terms of basic technical skill I guess um, and aptitude fuck me like if this game is for four to ten year olds holy fucking shit like who are these four to ten year olds we're talking about like like fucking I, 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 I don't even I I, I I don't even know I, I can't especially if I, I have a four can I just say I have a four year old right and she would not do well with this at all like impossible absolutely impossible like she can she can play mario kart with the assist on so that she doesn't have to accelerate or necessarily steer i am having trouble with the platforming on this this is it so if it, it fails on that front and as a result i don't think it gets like a, the, the soft touch all right because it, this is not intended for four to ten year olds it can't be it, it can't be or if it is it fails so hard that it's it, it's kind of like a a, a non-discussion right okay so with that said is rocky and bullwinkle worth your time i'm gonna say fucking no uh i'd give this game a a big fat zero um well 
Yeah, like in, in okay, so the rate the rating system on the channel works in how much of your time you should dedicate to these games, how much of your time they're worth, right? And this is not worth any of anyone's time unless you are into frustrating oh, yeah, just frustrating experiences or, or or you've got some kind of I don't know, some kind of YouTube channel where you beat terrible games. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Oh, so bad. Like the controls the fucking the, the music even oh my god it's bizarre bizarre this is a thq game as well like uh, I, I, yeah i don't know that's it, it's 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 already pissed on my cornflakes this game and the evening's just getting started so thank you for the recommendation uh it wasn't strictly a speaking of recommendation, but anyway, whatever. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. <sighs> Goodbye. <clears throat> yeah.